The Surfing Violinist presents the Surf Vlog, now featuring skimboarding with the second annual Spring Break Skim Jam, Panama City Beach, Florida, 2022. Back in high school in the late 90s, I got into skimboarding big time as a way to keep myself busy when the waves were too small to surf. After college, I tried to get back into it, but I hurt my hamstring and gave up. While my attention was elsewhere, skimming continued to thrive. Locals like Lance Richardson, Corbin Dull, and Sean Geyser took local skimboarding to levels I did not think were possible on our tiny waves. And now the new generation of local skim Skimmers like Dylan Duncan are keeping the tradition alive. And thanks to the blessing of Mr. Surf's, Shore Pound, Skim USA, Panama Jack, Fins, the skimboard companies, and other sponsors, competitive skimboarding is still alive and well in PCB. On April 23rd and 24th of 2022, Shore Pound presented the Skim Jam Contest. I entered in the Senior Grand Masters Division, judged a little, and filmed a lot. The highlight was witnessing some of the pros' performances up close. The Valencia Brothers' antics were a sight to behold. I was really amazed by their command of speed in such windy conditions. One time Yahir hit an awkward bit of white water that would have sent me flying and he just glided through it over another wave and reached the main wave. I just can't even fathom retaining speed that long. Until the skim jam, I knew nothing about Shore Pound and I was always mispronouncing their name as Shore LB, not really certain what the LB stood for. A little slow on the uptake until they explained the reason behind the name was being a celebration of the sacrifice all skimboarders must make if we want to carry on the tradition of the sport. If you want to fly, you're gonna get pounded. So they made a little meme, Get Pounded Mondays, as a way to start the week with some wipeout inspiration. I edited my own little montage of some of the best poundings from skim jam and even contributed two of my own. After Shore Pound's intro and Mr. Surf's blessing, it was time for judges' orientation. I think I judged a couple heats at Skim Jam years ago, but I remembered little, so we got a crash course in judging the little ones, and those kids were very energetic. I barely could even keep up with the scoring. But judging is a great way to gain an appreciation for the difficulties of running a contest, because keeping the criteria straight and making split-second decisions isn't easy. It was also helpful to know what the judges would be looking for in my heats. In the morning, the waves looked pretty nice, but the wind was picking up all day, making the conditions more challenging than I expected, which meant many more poundings than I expected. But just like with Hurricane Ida last year and getting to see pros surf our waves, it was inspiring seeing pros deal with our skim and turn seemingly unfavorable setups into action sports gold. Got to see Jack Tenney and the Juke Squad along with their giant skim board, which Lance proved actually worked. Local boys Dylan and Cam put up good showings in their heats on day one. My favorite heat of the day was the one between brothers Gerardo and Yahir, in which they kept one-upping each other. with the younger brother taking the win in the end. In my heat, I was facing off with skim industry veteran and all-around athlete, gnarly Chip Sanders. Wildly enough, just the other night, we were taking photos for an Island Time Sunset Cruise, and there was gnarly Chip foiling past us. So Chip beat me pretty soundly in the semifinal heat, but luckily for me, since there were only two of us, I was guaranteed a spot in the final the next day. I got to see some fantastic action on day two, and I was stoked to get so many pictures, but was in a kind of awkward position, half kneeling and half squatting to get the best angle. After our heat, Chip told me he saw me doing that and knew that was not going to be a good idea, and he was right. I really should have stretched or jogged between shooting pictures and skimming, because on this fall right here, I felt my calf light up like a Christmas tree. Chip knew it too immediately, giving me this consolation fist bump. You fought hard, soldier, but you didn't fight smart. Chip won our division, but Zap, Chip, and Shore Pound were gracious enough to give me a skimboard bag as a consolation second prize, which more than paid for my cost of entry. Thanks, y'all. I have been putting it to good use. Thank you much. Fins and Fins Barista Bar were ready to rehydrate and re-nourish the skim and sunburned masses, and John and Mr. Surf did some trivia giveaways. Me and Cam even won something. But the big news for us locals was our own Dylan Duncan winning the semi-pro division. Even though a chorus of voices was encouraging him to go pro, Dylan opted for the cash payout. The local crew was stoked. Thanks to Shore Pound, Mr. Surf, Skim USA, Panama Jack, Fins, Zap, Apex, Water Boys, and all the rest of the sponsors, parents, competitors, and fans for making the event possible. I'm glad I got to be a part of it, and I'm thankful to be back skimming again, even though my legs are not. Until next time, keep it consistent, even if the surf, or skim in this case, isn't. To see these videos early without ads, join the lineup here on YouTube. You just need a YouTube account, and for $1.99 a month, you click this little join button and sign up to get early and ad-free access to four monthly vlogs. The Surf Vlog, the Masala Vlog, the Violin Vlog, and the Family Vlog. Thank you very much.